And he is going to make the call. And this, yeah, that was, it, it's really sort of a stack size problem there for Jay Wynn and the move. And everyone folded the aces and the kings. I feel it. A deuce would be funny. Sick nasty. Wow. The founders. There's a reason for it. Yeah, it's to bloat it up and make the money. Incorrect, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, we have a beautiful hand here. Yeah, well, okay. There's different set, perspectives. There's different top hair twice with some hearts. Yeah, this is going to get pricey quickly as everybody has a piece. Top, top here for you. Bet's 65. Brandon here with the bottom set. In the big blind, out of position. 1.6K, the effective stack is going to come in for the flat call. Not going to put it into the check raise. Mm, on this board, that's uh, dicey. Yeah, a lot of bad turn cards for you. And if you don't whittle the field down, you get Jarvis coming in behind and getting to see this river card for, or this turn card for quite cheap. It is an eight of spades. Safe enough for Brandon at the moment. However, this is getting very connecty. Players checks, live However, stream. the the best straight, like pretty much the only straight that you'd really assume could be out there, was, was made there. on the flop. Yeah. So eight doesn't really change that. However, it does bring in backdoor spades. Check, check. E with top pair, top kicker, and drawing dead. That's his top pair for two twenty-five. Brandon with third set here. He's calculating route. Calculating route. <laughs> He's once call again, again, once again, check calls. <laughs> and Jarvis, yeah, once again, one, getting yeah. a reasonable price. Yeah, and he picked up some, uh, he picked up a seven to his straight as well. Yeah. And he's going to come along as well. So it's the same trio seven of, of players. Sorry. Seven of diamonds. I yeah, calling like, for the seven know, of diamonds. Just having a weird feel for the seven of diamonds. Eight of, diamonds. Oh. Eight of diamonds. Full house now for Brandon, and if he didn't feel great about his hand earlier, backing into nines full of eights has got to make him feel quite a bit better. So that is actually a good card for E as well. However, when Brandon donk leads into yeah, this pot, it. it's going to announce some pretty scary holdings. 500, 600, and 55 dollars. Yeah, was up. Two thirds pot size bet, and a guy who hasn't shown any aggression has just now let out for the first time. This is a really bad spot to be in. I think he will go through the process and. Uh, never mind. He makes the call, which bails E out of having to make e a call. Out. Wow, he would have probably have called. If he had I honestly am not sure of that. Yeah, um, I get it. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure if E would have folded, but I'm not certain that he would have right. folded. Like, that he's cer certain that he would have folded. Well, that's Jaywin waking up with a K in the, on the button after an open and a call. Three bet it up. And all the aces out there. Yeah, all the aces. Thank you. Baba, King, Baba, clubs. Done. Done, though. I know a certain Gordon who would be like shaming him for the folding the nuts. <laughs> Jarvis out of there. King, queen, offsuit. Now over to Pratt. Pratt's going to play. Mm -hmm. Heads up. Out of position, Pratt here with the queen, jack, offsuit. Is live and hits a pair and seizes the lead. Seize the day. Check to Jay Win. Jay Win with two overs. Yeah. You know, one thirty to three sixty, so just a smidge over one third pot size bet. Pratt didn't call Queen Jack off suit to fold to this bet on the flop. So he will go for the check raise oh. instead. Once again, bringing back the old uh, early 2000s. Let me yeah. just go ahead and find out where I'm at. I need I'm to at. know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kings, queens, prices? I just assume that everyone that plays that way has an accent like that. I don't know why. Especially in their mind, too. <laughs> in a moment. Right? Yeah. Let me see where I'm at. And uh, Jay Wynn is not shy. 
And he's probably be like, this is a curious play. What hands would do that on this board? No. But uh, Jack's full might do it. Deuce, Deuce is full. Yes, Deuce is full. My Deuce is full. My apologies. Yeah, get it straight. I don't know bro. what I'm thinking. Jeez. Uh, All right, speak. bring in the backup commentator. This one's this one's not working out. I can't speak. <laughs> Pratt betting more for value. Four fifty now. Deuce is full of Jacks, and he is gonna get shipped on by Jay Win. Jay Win has seen this. Let me find out where I'm at thing more times than. He is going to let Pratt get away I with mean, this I one. I think Jay Wynn is thinking, like, all right, I mean, I can have aces, kings, and queens, and he, oh, maybe he, Pratt might maybe could have queens. But, uh, and Jay Wynn loves making people squirm. Yeah. The problem here for Jay Wynn, and I'm not saying that this is exactly how this is going to play out, but the, the stack to pot ratio now, in terms of, like, what Pratt has to put in, even just to get half back, right? Like, right. even if he says to himself, my opponent isn't bluffing, it's either better hand or I'm chopping, like, the amount he has to put in to get half of his money back and just be like, cool, that was a wash, is actually not that steep, right? Like, he's committed the 305, the 450, and then the 140 pre. I mean, like, a, just a substantial amount of his money is already out there. So getting it back at, like, a 1.5 premium on a call is just not that bad. And he is going to make the call. And this, yeah, that was, it, it's really sort of a stack size problem there for Jay Wynn in the move. And everyone folded the aces and the kings. I feel it. So All of the ones. A deuce would be funny. Boom. Oh! Sick nasty. Oh! Wow. And I think Jay Wynn announced he one, said one time. One time. Wow. That's the case the ace because we saw Two the other aces. Out of the deck. My goodness. So great call from Pratt. A little bit unorthodox way of playing that. Jay 